All right, this is my computer for my Goldwing 1200. It was very easy to take apart. Um, that's the base. This is the lid. There was four screws in the corners. Take those four screws out. And then there's two of these beveled screws in the bottom. Let me dump those in here. And lose them. Yeah, take those two out. That'll hold. That's holding. You can take the lid off, but in order to get the circuit board out, you have to take uh, these two screws out. And they screw to these two heat sinks to help transfer the heat from those transistors or MOSFETs to the outside. Now, I've been in here once already uh, to look at the solder joints. And uh, I found some that did not look good and uh, that uh, could have been the problem it would have been nice if it were but it was not uh, it did seem to operate a little better when it was running after I did that but uh, that did not solve my heat problem but I'm gonna have another close look at, you'll need a magnifying glass really because uh, it's deep down um, you know, when you look at, uh, let me see if I can find one, that, like say this one right here, this pad, let's see if I can get the focus on that. Nope, go back off. You'll see what might be, and you might have to twist it in the light and look at it at different angles, what might be a crack, what will look like a crack around, uh, the metal that's coming through the, uh, circuit board. And that's, sometimes they're very visible and obvious and you just heat it with a soldering iron and dab a little dab of solder on there, reflow it, and that'll, that'll fix a lot of problems. Um, so I'm going to go through with that. Now it helps to have a handsome set of magnifying glasses like these. Beautiful, huh? And a flashlight. Uh, a professional would have a microscope, but uh, <laughs> I've never had one of those. So, um, so I'm going to go through this with another fine tooth comb and look for a, a bad solder joint. And also, these capacitors. Let me change. Let's see if I can. If I can. No, I need. I can't point it out. These capacitors here, they're, they're little, these are called electrolytic capacitors. Uh, they're made out of a little aluminum can with a little rubber stopper on the end, two wires coming out the bottom. These go bad with age. Any old equipment, uh, like an old radio or something like that, you plan to use if it were, you know, 30, 50 years old, you would, first thing you do is go in and replace all of these. So that's what i'm in here to do is get the values off of these and uh order new ones and just replace them they're not they're not expensive to certainly certainly no more than three dollars a piece now this is an interesting thing here i noticed backfiring a lot uh, i've been having a backfire issue uh, i didn't have it until i synced my carbs um, and I didn't sink my carbs right away after I had cleaned them. I'm pretty good at sink, getting them close when I put the carbs together. So I kind of delayed it. And then last winter I, I had a, a cold start issues and you know, I didn't know it was a computer, but my backfiring is definitely vacuum related. And if this thing is wrong, if this thing is doing something wrong, um, it could be that the vacuum issue isn't with the carb, but that. And I, I mean, I can buy vacuum sensors, but I have no idea how this thing senses what kind of signals it's sending to the computer and how the computer is reading it. So I can't just go buy one and stick it on here unless I can find this one exactly. And I really doubt it since this was 1986. 
But I do see a couple of places here where some, something strange happened with my soldering on the back side here. This one, the solder came through. And this resistor here, I don't understand why, but I'll, I'll suck that solder out and put fresh solder in there. And hopefully by next week I'll have these. These Otherwise, I use my hand warmer, Zippo hand warmer, to heat this thing up when I need to go somewhere. So that's where we're at with this. Uh, I am going to put a vacuum pump on here, and yeah, I'll replace this this hose here. It's it's pretty it's not as bad as the hoses on the outside were, but it's it's pretty stiff. So, I will keep you posted and uh, let you know what the final solution is. And uh, if, please like and subscribe to my channel. Like my video, subscribe to my channel. Comments help with uh, ratings and popularity. I have a GoFundMe. I will uh, put that in the comments. That's to help me buy motorcycle parts to keep me on the road. So. If you're having problems with your bike not starting and backfiring, uh, particularly when it's cold and not when it's hot, put a hair dryer on your computer, see if that starts it, and then you'll know it's your computer and not your carburetors. This is definitely, a, definitely an issue with uh, this computer, and I'm sure somebody else has that same problem. So I'll let you know. Thanks.